Columbia, what's up, Columbia? Plus one, and I don't even know what the question is yet. <laughs> She's uh, always coming. So, uh, could the Google sites you showed on Monday on your webinar could be used for lead gen? Could you explain exactly how they could be used to promote a video or a website? Well, they could be. Columbia, think about it. Um, well, first of all, remember the webinar we did with uh, Peter Drew about the G Sites Builder uh, or G Sites Creator or whatever. Um, you can customize your own HTML templates and use it with that software, which is awesome. Like we've got, uh, you know, a couple. Um, we've got a uh, Jessen, which is our uh, drive stack builder, and then we've also got another guy, uh, Caesar, that works with us. That those guys are, can make beautiful templates that we can add to uh, the G Sites builder. That we can like that are basically like we could build these mass um, Google sites with this software and have them look like landing pages, like real bona fide landing pages and that's just a matter of um, editing HTML template creating a template that then you can add to the software so you you can absolutely use them as landing pages and for lead gen and that kind of stuff but even if you were just going to use the default settings which is the default themes f which are kind of ugly um, the idea with that would be to still take up more real estate on page one and push competitors off if that makes sense so you could actually absolutely use it for lead gen for that wet reason uh, just it, just to take up more real estate you know more of the 10 slots on page one right push competitors out but you can also customize it to be uh, made to look like a real bona fide like you know landing page and um, that's certainly doable and how could you use these to promote a video or a website well remember it's a Google property right so you could first of all you can embed YouTube videos uh, inside the G sites which that's a great ranking signal, okay? Um, also, you can use the Google Sites to create backlinks to your videos. So besides the embeds, you can also link within the content. So use contextual links, uh, anchor text links and, and such go to link to your, your video as well, okay? And the same thing for your money site. You can do the same thing. You can set up tier, and then as we were talking on the webinar, you can even um, run a campaign for your keywords with the G Sites Builder. Uh, you know, once and then give it a, a few days, uh, and actually it's a few weeks. With Google Sites, there's a lot of initial dancing. You've got to give them time and be patient to settle in. But give it, you know, two to four weeks, and then go back. Um, use a rank tracker or something, so you don't got to do it manually. But uh, go back and check on the rankings of the different keywords for all the different sites or pages, depending on how you set it up. Um, are your Google sites and in the ones that are that have ranked well but not ranked you know to where you want them like the ones that are kind of risen to the top but maybe aren't where you want them to be then you can go back and duplicate those campaigns and use those pages or Google sites again depending on how you set it up as the target URLs for your next G site campaign so basically you can build tiered links with Google sites to a Google site uh, you know a sites.google.com site so there's a multiple things that you can do with it. Um, it's just like any other link building tool, so to speak, except this, like it, it's just using Google Sites only, which is a very powerful method, as we've proven with RYS Academy stuff. Yeah, that, that was going to be my, my comment to her. The, the whole premise behind RYS Academy is to use the power of Google and Google's love of Google to rank in Google. I, it, it, it's what we do. It's what we always do. And so, yeah, you, you, these these rank. They rank really well, but they look they, they don't look the best because it, you're limited yeah. in what you can do with the code and and in the templates and and a whole bunch of things. It's it's very limited, but you can still work with them. You know, you can still if if you, you know, put the phone number in there, uh, name address. Sorry, name address, phone number, calls to action images as calls to action do anything that you can to increase your your conversions once it's ranking so that's how you make you make it work for lead gen you rank it and make sure that people who are visiting have a way to reach you yep and again if nothing else it's it's used as a way to push other listings off page one so 